Hey, 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 YouTube. Just coming by with a quick video. I was uh, kind of, I don't know what I was doing, icing my shoulder up most of the day, and I think I'm going to put some more ice on it. The, some days I just, I feel so good. Queen and I did a video on telling her how to do chair bottoms, and I was just really inspired from that. And after that, I decided to go on my patio, which I very seldom would go out there. I'd clean the patio off. I decided to paint my little plastic chairs. You know, the sun had bleached them. So I got some yellow paint, and I started painting one chair while I'm sitting in the other chair. And I was just got carried away. I had the paintbrush just, no, first I had spray can, yeah. And that was too rough, so I said, well, let me paint, get some paint. I started painting, and then I can't hardly raise my arm up. You know, doing this back and forth, I really messed up my shoulder. But I did try to top coat the, the chair again, so I pulled the chair close to me, <laughs> and I will paint just like a some kind of crippled person, because, yeah, that's what I was. I was painting it with my arm not extended from my body. But I'm determined. This thing is still swollen. But that's what happened today. But I was listening to some people talking. And I don't know how many people in the world don't have this communication with their inner self. I, it just kind of baffles me. Because they have to have someone to tell them what God said. And then they'll say, you know, you get your prophet or your prophetess, and they love to make people afraid. God told me something, something, this was going to happen. And the person that they're telling it to, I guess they never don't know the voice of God. So they have to say, well, what did God say? What did he say? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So they'll give you some kind of crazy stuff that God said for you to do. And long, long, long time ago, I had a total stranger to come up to me. I think I might have been getting off the bus or something. This woman don't know me from Adam. Says, ma'am, God told me to tell you that such and such and such and this and that. And I said, he really said that. She said, yeah, God, because I'm a prophet, prophetess, and God told me. I said, well, the God that I know is not two-faced. He, he, if he is something he wants me to know, he, he talks to me and on a regular basis. We're best friends. So he'll tell me, and if, if it's from God, I will be the first to know. But a lot of people don't have that... Uh, that hotline, I guess I could call it that, the hotline. But they do have it. They do have it. They just don't know the ringtone. They're so busy with the noise, background noise, till they can't hear that sound of God nudging you and telling you. And God, and when you do get a magic message god is not gonna try to out talk your mind it's just a small whisper and you know you have got to learn learn how to listen to the voice of god not what these other people tell you because god is so immense and he knows you know who we are so why would he need a third party to come and tell you what he wants you to do? So be careful when people are telling you that God telling you something. Now, I'm not going to say that it doesn't happen. Because years, years, years ago, it had to be in the 80s, early 80s. We were sitting in Sabbath school. We used to have church on Saturday, Bible study. And I was sitting there with the, in the women's group. And this the pastor's daughter. She had left her husband. I'm not going back to him. Blah, blah, blah. And her husband had an asthma problem from working at affiliated food store in the uh, 
freezer department, so he developed this asthma problem. But my ex-husband's mother, she was sitting there, and all of a sudden she stood up and looked at this girl. She said, God wants you to go home today. You go home. And she turned around and sat down like she hadn't said nothing. And the lessons went on, and everybody said, she told her to go back home. To her husband, till she said, you go home today. This was about 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. And the girl did not go back home. At 5, maybe 4.30 or 5 o'clock, this woman's husband was dead. Her youngest son was there at the apartment with his father. And he didn't know what to do. He was so young. He called the paramedics because his daddy wasn't breathing. And the man had died from a, a simple, all he needed was his little inhaler. And she, he had been called, he had called her all day Friday to help him out because he didn't have enough money to get the inhaler. And she, they say she was saying, well, you just want that excuse to get me over there so you can get me in the bed. But she said, I'm not coming, blah, blah, blah. But that call, my mother-in-law said, you go home today. And that, that man did not have to, if he had obeyed. So sometimes when we get a deaf ear and we just not going to hear, God will do it that way. It's kind of like in the Bible where, uh, I forget, Elijah. Oh, I forget. I had so many stories in the Bible. But this man was riding a uh, prophet was on a donkey and he was just disobedient. You can't tell me nothing. And he wouldn't, he had heed to nobody's commands and do this, do that. And he was just oh, disobedient. You know, this, uh, this is where your story goes. This donkey turned around and talked to him and told him what thus said the Lord was. That was the only time he believed. So sometimes if we get that donkey brain and the donkey is the only thing you'll listen to, then so be it. But we can open up our mind and learn to listen to the voice of God because there's a lot of people whispering in your ear and they are not whispering the thing that God wants you to know. But, you know, I, I trust my own intuition. I really do. Now, <laughs> the other night, I was disobedient. I paid for it too. I was feeling all you know, good, and was working on my wands, and working with some hot glue, and it was late, it was dark, and here, now, this voice, Mary, you need to cut the hot glue gun off and go to bed, you're tired, and I said, yeah, but I'm gonna finish this one, then I'll go to bed, voice didn't say nothing else, it just left me alone to my own devices, and I picked up the hot glue gun and, you know, kind of finished the project. But in the midst of that, a big glob of hot glue dropped on my leg. I'm screaming and screaming to the top of my voice. Because the hot glue, if you ever work with hot glue, that is a burn from beyond. And I... I I was hurting so bad I couldn't even get no ice. I said, oh, Lord, I know it's going to be a big old blister. Why didn't I obey? And I paid for that one. But when I got to bed, I all I could do was give myself a little Reiki. And I said, Lord, this is going to be an old nasty scar on my, on my calf, in a calf. And I did Reiki for it. And because it was, it kept me up all during the night. That that heat was still in my skin. And when I woke up the next morning, I forgot all about the burn. And I threw the covers back. I said, "Ooh, I know I see a blister. Do you know I don't see not a spot on my leg?" But that was a still, even though I can't say the weather well, rake it did help because our blisters real easy. But the lesson in me is obedience. Even though I'm almost 60, 70 years old, I still have to obey and do what I'm, what the voice tells me to do. Go to bed. Put that down. But we all have this inner voice. 
and I had started this a long time ago, talking about the conscious mind. I'm going to start that again so we can refresh our minds about the conscious mind because they used to sing a song a long time ago. I got a telephone in my bosom, and I can call up God whenever I want. So we got a telephone. We got the number to the hotline. We just get, and we got the, we can use the hotline, and we better be able to answer it too. So I'm not going to get all hyped up. But anyway, I thought I'd pass this little information along because if I don't, I've been forgotten. It's just how messages come and go. And just like, ooh, <laughs> I forgot what was on my mind. But anyway. The thing is to listen, okay? I'll talk to you guys again. Bye-bye.